This is the 154th episode of Cloud Focus Weekly for the second week of October 2013. This episode is titled, No Agenda But a Builder. Cloud Focus Weekly is sponsored by Compliance Locker. Capture all chatter, posts, deletions, and files. Available for free on the App Exchange. Take it for a spin at compliance-locker.com or just search for Compliance Locker on the App Exchange. I am your host with the most... Jason Atwood, and joining me, the host with well, maybe not quite as much, but some, Justin Nelson. Justin, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, thanks. How are you? I'm good. You've got 22 minutes to figure out your app pick of the week. I just figured it out, actually, because <laughs> oh. I just started using this this week, nice. and I remembered that I started using it, and I was like, yeah, cool. I like it. Oh, I think we've picked that at least no, 10 times No, we haven't because it just came out like very recently. Oh, it's the, okay. All right, we'll get to yeah, that in a second. Yeah, that's right. So we apologize because we don't really have much of an agenda today. That's why it's no agenda but a builder. Right, no agenda but a builder. Um, we uh, we do have a blog post up on the new blog.arcasync.com, which we can talk about. Uh, we have there's a new conga case study featuring one really cool company, hmm. and, and then we basically have a bunch of Dreamforce news, and then we'll talk about what we're gonna do next week, which will be a fun episode. Yeah, sponsored by someone who asked us to do the episode. Oh, so let's kick it off with the oh, blog. That will be a fun one. Let's kick it? it off with the blog post this week, which is is this the last in the series? Yeah, it is. This is the last in the series of uh, of our Winter fourteen love fest called Small Changes That Make a Big Difference. This blog post is the first blog post by one of the newest members of Arcus. That's right. So welcome to not being named on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so you will be yet another not named person. <laughs> That's right. Enjoy that. Uh, well, because we don't name them. You, you need to get to a high level of status before you get to named. That's true. But this person wrote uh, about the, uh, basically about things that were taken from the idea exchange and made it on to winter 14 right exactly um and mostly related to chatter actually all related to chatter oh okay that was there's like a little theme going there okay well the theme is chatter that's right um so let's talk about a couple of them uh again there are small changes that make a big difference pick one of the three small changes that made a big difference in your life i'll use the one that i've that i've actually used uh which is mentioning chatter groups which I think is fantastic. So yes, makes it so much easier to post to a chatter group. You used to have to. I'm not even going to go into the what is chatter things. If you're listening to this and you don't know what chatter is, then rewind a couple hundred episodes. And chatter is a collaboration <laughs> tool built inside of Salesforce. Thanks. Taking some of the philosophies from the social web and Keep building going. them into Salesforce. That's enough. Okay. All right. So you used to have to go to the chatter tab and then navigate to a group and then find the group correct mundo and then or you can or you could like start typing your thing and it would ask you where do you want to post this and you'd say you know on your profile or in a group and then you'd have to find the group. that was a share when you shared it you could do that i think you could have done that like not right, in the post right from your actual nope. post right nope. couldn't you it was only in the share no, it asks you two, and then you could say either my followers or a group, and then you type in the group's name, and it finds it. Right. Absolutely. But when you're sharing a post that's already no, been posted. No. Learn how to use Chatter. I know Chatter very well. You want to bet? No, because I'm thinking you're using the old, you're using the new version. No, no, no. So are you talking about a sharing, or are you talking about a post that you're posting? Literally posting. Share? Posting a brand new Chatter post oh, on yes. my profile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could yeah. type in my yes. post, and then I could say, who do I want to share this with? I could say to a group or to my followers, and that was the way okay. that you would have to yes. post it to a group. Now you can just at the group name, and it's a really nice feature because I like to post in groups as opposed to just on my profile because people tend to have like email stuff turned on for groups, and right. you, you're sort of blasting more than one person which is what you want to do instead of at mentioning six people in one What well, means you don't have to post group. it twice because I used to post – so when I had post for the Cloud Focus Weekly, I used to post inside the group, and I still do. And then I would share out to my profile, to my followers, because you could be in the group but not be one of my followers, and you wouldn't see the post because I posted inside of a group, although I'm not even sure about that. Again, the whole chatter thing, sometimes you're like, I don't even know who sees what. But at least now you can mention the group, and then it gets put into their feed, right, the group's feed. Right. So nice feature. Um, I think the little one, that's a, too much of a um, 
Yeah, the other two are really, really small, like Damn. a thousand character limit on chatter comments. I like that one. Yeah, it's tiny. So many chatter messages get like cut off, and then it's like continued from previous message. I wonder if Compliance Locker can support up to a thousand characters. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it's sponsored by Arcus. <laughs> And the product manager sitting across the way from me, he's literally, his face is turning purple right now. It's cringing. awesome. He's cringing. cringing. He's like, oh, man, did I not test oh, that? Oh, man. Did I mention it was free? You did mention but it was send free. send all your tickets to support at arcasync.com if you have an issue. You know, I'm going to go ahead and guess we can support that. Um, There's no reason why we would have made the field 500 characters. No. There's no, well, 500, but we probably Sorry. would have already heard if it was broken. <laughs> Is that your theory? <laughs> well, if, was, if we made it 500, I'm sure people would have come back and been All like, right. hey, it broke it. Sounds like someone's got some testing to do. Um, or just a quick check. Yeah. I should actually do it like right now. Yeah, you do that, Wad. And then the other one is making uh, chatter groups inactive uh, act inactive and archiving I think that's okay i actually like the topic stuff you can now merge topics rename topics you can do some sort of nice topic stuff right. not that anybody uses topics remember this is stuff from the idea exchange directly right. well merging topics and is i looked we have like 800 topics in our org already and our org is how many not were there big. arcus monday <laughs> no but like our org is not large there should not be there's a problem with topics when it just goes off and starts creating create like there shouldn't be 800 something topics well, think about it. it's 800 hashtags over a three-year period they how many hashtags not very useful when there's 800 of them in an org of seven people right Oof, not useful it's a big org now yeah it's not useful crazy. but but, uh, you know, again, following them is cool. Um, all right. Next up is – that's on blog.arcusinc.com. You can go read that article. Next up is a uh, new case study that we took a part of uh, for our friends at Conga, formerly App Extremes, uh, who make a PDF – generating i'm smiling big because we made the field thirty-two thousand characters oh okay so good. like it won't break okay nice <laughs> i thought you were smiling at me like i just said something wrong no i'm just smiling because um, i don't have to fix something so we made a so we did a case study with them about how we use uh how we use conga in our org right. or project management stuff um it's interesting because they're like how many hours do you save and how much this and we're like uh, you know okay we save this much if i had to handwrite that all in a pdf that would have saved me 15 trillion hours if i had to you know hammer it into a, a tablet and and mail it via fedex then it would save me this many hours right. you can only go so far with right. like how many hours does it save the yeah the roi is kind of fun but anyway if you go to congamerge.com slash customers slash case dash studies i would just search for conga case studies on on google and anyway, we're at the top nice. uh, we, we have our own first one it says arcus saved more than 1400 hours wow it's yeah, a lot, that's of, a lot hours of hours again saved. i just want to say like, eh, i don't know you know how we save money but we save that many hours yeah you that could either be extremely low or extremely high um by using their product we are a big fan of them and yes. their work uh they will be at dreamforce uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. I think we've made it our pick, and we've made it. It made it into the top ten oh, list. Oh yeah, it's definitely. I'm actually looking at the infographic right now. Oh yeah, is it up? Is it up on there? Uh, catchphrases, app picks, the top Conga five app picks. Yes, number three on my list. Number three on your list. There you yes, go. There you go. Thank you. We're in the podcasting studio. We need a big version of that. That is pretty big. No, no, no. I want like I want like a six by like a six foot by a six foot. <laughs> yeah. What do you want? Like one of those, uh, yeah. one of those life size, yeah. like, like to go like right here on the wall. What are those stickers called? Oh, fat heads. You want a fat head? Yeah. <laughs> My head on a fat head. The Cloud Focus Weekly Podcast logo as a fat head. Exactly. I think we do need that actually. All right. Now we have a whole bunch of semi news about Dreamforce. Uh, I love that I wrote Dreamforce. 14. Like it's uh, another year's coming. We're up. just yeah, we're just skipping ahead. So big news in the Dreamforce world. First of all, agendas. agendas. The agenda builders are is, is live as of two days ago. So yep. go build your agenda using the agenda builder. Um, I will say uh, the second news to that is that Arcus is being represented in four different uh, sessions this year. Four. Four sessions. Four sessions. So we have the partner that shall not be named, but will be speaking. That's we'll right. be speaking on Thursday at a session about. Um, I should probably log free in. apps. Free apps. Like ten free app app exchange apps. He'll yes. be talking about uh, the permissioner. 
Yes. Um, then we have you're doing two on Monday. Two, yes. One on permission sets with Adam Correct. Corman. And team. And one on cross-object cross object workflows workflow. on Correct. Monday. Both of which I think are full. Are they? Well, I know the first. I know the second one's full already. Wow. So one cross object workflows fill up fast. Well, here's I mean, here's a little a little thing I'd like to have done better with Salesforce. How big are these sessions? Don't know. Yeah, don't like that. Like, so this thing's full. Is it a room of? Is it a room for fifty or a room for five thousand? I really want to know, just so I can mentally right. prepare myself whether I'm talking to. I mean, basically all our sessions, like we could talk about our sessions, but right now you really can't get into any except for mine, which you will want to because it's called Salesforce Professionals and it's about uh, people who have made a profession doing Salesforce work. So that's on Monday as well. But mine has the word magic in it. Yes. Point and click magic. Mine has unite. So search for unite. Uh Salesforce Professionals unite, um, which would be kind of a fun kind of fun session yeah. but I, I don't like the whole, so agenda builders out it agenda looks, builders out looks okay works okay can i just ask a question this is like i'm put on my you're gonna ask me a question yeah. or is this rhetorical oh well, a little bit of both yeah. a little bit of a little so bit it's of rhetorical but you're gonna make me answer yeah. it. yeah okay why is it that salesforce just totally wants to make the interface for this Every year they just want to reinvent it. Like every year they have to say, let's make it different than it was the year before and the year before that and the year before that. You know I can't answer the – why do you ask me questions I can't answer? I you know, know that that's rhetoric. And how come – this is a this is a thing for pretty much Salesforce prospects and users, right? This is a Dreamforce. That's what it's meant for, mm-hmm. partners and whatever. Then why well, make it – partners, really their customers. No, it's partner, mostly. customers, prospects. Yeah. It's everybody. I think, I think they would – tend to gear it towards their customers if i well, well no i feel that way they want their partners there too well the sure. partners make the whole thing happen all oh, the partners pay you know, for it pay for it here here's the here's the thing that i would then ask um why not make it just look and feel like salesforce like because everybody in the planet knows how to use salesforce if you're well first of all not everyone on the planet. everybody going to dreamforce does. secondly i think the the air quote looks like Salesforce is something that Salesforce wants to get away from because what does Salesforce look like? It looks like anything. Yeah. It looks like anything you want. Look at this platform. Look at this platform that you can build this agenda builder on. But, but here's the thing. Chatter in the Dreamforce is totally board. different from Chatter everywhere else, it's, but that's the point. But I it's think. terrible. It's terrible. Well, that's your opinion. I, I can honestly say I've been so busy, I really haven't been playing around with it. It's the same it. as this last year. It's terrible. It's not – It chatter is a, is a tool, and it's like why not make the chatter at least work like it works everywhere else? It's different. It works different. It looks different. It has bugs in it. It's like it's – I don't just, know. I've gone to like chatter, and it looks like chatter. I think you're talking about chatter on the sessions. No, even chatter. Go, it's not chatter. I'm not going to go in right okay, now. You should I, go I looked at it. So I just wonder. I mean it's just one of those little pet peeves. I get the agenda builder makes something cool and splashy and has some nice features. Like it'll – if you search for things, it tells you across the tabs. Mm-hmm. But I'll tell you, I just did the session builder, the agenda builder with a – with a friend of mine, let's say, yeah, and leading that person through it, and they were darn confused by it. They're like, "Well, what now? How do you get the here? And what does that mean?" And oh. it was not. I know it took me a minute, but then I figured out the searching and was like, "Oh, it goes across the days." And all right, I get it. Yeah, I don't know. It took me a minute. You know what? We mentioned Conga before, and um, you know, I think we'd be. Um, I think we should mention the fact that we'd be a mess. Dream, remiss, I, remiss, I was yeah. going to say, but we should mention the fact that this is now announced. Erica Cool announced it. Um, she, you know, she's one of the heads of the community that that there's going to be a success community zone in the. I believe it's going to be in the Hilton. I want to get this right. Um, yes, in the Hilton, where you'll find a genius bar staffed by Salesforce MVPs. We might be there. A community theater sponsored by Conga. Oh, the community theaters? That was fun. That's right. Okay. So I'm tying it all together. Oh, very good. A community live podcast studio, which will feature yours truly, the two of us, amongst uh, others. That's true. Um, doing our Cloud Focus Weekly live from the community zone. Yeah. So can I just clear something up? We yeah. said, as of last podcast, that right. we were that we're doing a session 
right. for podcasting. We scrapped that. Right. Well, we, we scrapped it because – it made no sense if they were going to have a live podcasting studio where right. they want us to be podcasting. This is the right place to be this doing it. This is the place to be doing it. So if you tried to sign up for that session and couldn't because it was off before the mm-hmm. agenda builder went live, sorry. Right. But now – But it's, it's canceled. It's right. not in the that's agenda builder. That's, that's what I'm saying. But right. then now this is better because we will not only do it once. We'll probably do it twice, maybe thrice. Um, and therefore you'll have multiple sessions. And we will talk about it. Well, we will schedule it, so right. it will be scheduled, and we'll be at a certain we'll time. Let you guys know when we're going to be there, and so you will be able to show up, cheer us on, cheer us Q and A, maybe, Q, maybe Q&A. some guests if you'd Ooh, like. Stump the podcaster, that'd be cool. Or how about swag? Mm. Come get answer a question about answer well, some let historical me, let questions. Let me give what about, else is right. is, is that I'm having thing. fun? I'm making I know, things you're having up. Fun. Right. So aside from all that fun stuff i mentioned there's also going to be a, two lounges with charging stations nice so this is really for the community so everybody who's a part of the salesforce community right show up at the at the hilton uh charge your phone uh six big meetup tables um big games headshot photos so if you want to have like a professional headshot taken of yourself you can have that taken there at the community zone really cool place to go hang out during dreamforce um, oh yeah, by the way, there will be a coffee and latte, um, free lattes, free coffee. Everyone always asks for coffee at Dreamforce. It's like oh, I drink thing. more it's coffee. Like, in I need coffee. Days. I need coffee. Well, if you want coffee, you want a latte, you don't want to stand in line at Starbucks at the Moscone, head over to the Hilton and get your free lattes all week. And also come by and listen to us podcast. And we'll be podcasting we, there. I think that I, I would means, say at least twice. I think that means we have to ship out snowballs yeah the snowballs have to come no oh, well why can't we bring our little snowflakes no not in that arena you need this to take maybe the they'll have equipment for us i'll talk they to will you, not. Uh, i'll talk i to don't want to record anything else but my own well equipment. it's a podcasting live First of all, studio that they're setting up so i assume that we're actually going to be mic'd i don't think so also, Why would we just sit there? Because how are we going to record it then? Well, we may have lava First of all, mics on. It's called Equip Monk. We don't actually know what we're going to have, but we'll we'll, we'll work we're we're going to bring these because they're famous. They are, kind and of they famous. look like people, bombs. People and if you pack don't, them, don't pack them <laughs> and don't put them in your carry on. That's for sure. It's not they look fun. like bombs. Bombs. You can't say bombs on a yeah, plane. Bomb, like, Whoa, bomb, what's bomb, that bomb. thing? It looks like a black round machine that does stuff. You it actually, like, sir, it is. It is. A, black round machine that does stuff it records my voice i think you're just you're making this podcast go into explicit no so oh i didn't mean to do that all right. so if i did i apologize all right what else all right um well obviously arcus will have a booth so you can you yes, can stop will. by the arcus booth at dreamforce we'll talk about that we'll talk about that ad nauseum i'm sure i don't actually know what a booth number is and right then now. just in case you're listening and you still haven't registered for dreamforce and you want to go the price is now eleven ninety nine. I looked yesterday. So it started to what? Four ninety nine? Four ninety nine. It's now eleven ninety nine. You're still saving three hundred dollars according to if you register before November seventeenth, which is the day before the okay. thing starts. Right. Um, you are saving three hundred dollars. Excellent. So if you want to save one hundred more dollars as you're registering, go through and put in the promo code D thirteen M V P R E F. That will save you $100. D13MVPREF. $100. It's a lot of dollars. It's like a billion dollars, but just like a hundred yep. of them. All right. All right. For next week, sorry about the short yeah, podcast. We said no agenda, but a builder. It's a builder. It's a builder. We build, we build it. upon it. To build upon it. So next week, we have the incredible uh, idea from our good friend, Paul. I don't know. Oh. You, you, you are the one who... Uh, Oh, he didn't send it to Did you? Did he send it to both of us? I think he sent it just to me. Maybe. Anyway, um, I could look it up, but I won't. Um, he said, listen, he, the person who shall not be Let me credited, find it in you my find email it. really quickly. Yeah, I'll do the work. And he said, listen, f- f- going on top of your top 10 TV show, your streaming, stream me down um, episode where you talked about your top 10 TV shows, that you guys had a great time. Uh, and It is from Paul. Yes. Oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. The brain's still working. Um, and said that, you know, really, we really liked that. And, it, you know, it was a great episode. And it was fun to hear our banter. Um, he said, would you do a podcast about your top 10 uh, App Exchange products? App Exchange products. So I said, sure. I think what we will, instead of doing top 10 individually, 
because while we can talk about a lot of them, I don't feel like we could talk about 10 each individually that were unique. It would be very, very well. Yeah, and it would also be an extremely long podcast. Right. It's also hard to talk about because while we use a lot of product, do we use 20 every day of our life or, or enough that I'd really, no. really want to talk about? And I'm about pretty them. sure we know what the number one is going to be already. And we'll exclude compliance locker and we'll exclude the permissioner. Oh, that was going to be my top two. Yeah. I, we'll All just right. I, we'll mention them, of course, but we'll exclude them from our tops. Okay. Yeah. Um, so next week's going to be a top 10 app exchange products. We will go yep. through our list. All right. All right. Let's get to our cloud folks app pick of the week. I'm sure you picked this uh, what, 20 minutes ago. Yes, I did. Excellent. So I got an email last week mm-hmm. from Jitterbit saying, hey, come try the Jitterbit cloud data loader. Nice. And I was like, ooh, Jitterbit cloud data loader. Yeah. What does that mean? I can now schedule and run and deploy my Jitterbit um, in a I'm gonna, I'm gonna call them integrations. Sure, but they're they're more like data loading tasks, right? You know, like in the back in the day where you had to schedule the data loader to do stuff. Yes. Well, Jitterbit could be scheduled, and it always could. But now you can schedule and run these tasks in the cloud. So it's it was a little weird. I was a little confused because the, it's actually it actually downloads a client. It's the same designer that you're used to. So it's like the Jitterbit cloud designer. But it's still a thick client that sits on your desktop where you're designing the, the again, lack of a better word, integration right. or data loading task. Yep. And then you deploy it because you log in right. to the client with your cloud credentials. And right. then you deploy it to your cloud dashboard. Nice. And then you can schedule it and you can see it run from the website. Right. And this is pretty cool. It's free, okay, which is awesome because you've got this like. What are the limitations on free? I don't. I mean, it, it can do like everything that the regular Jitterbit data loader can do, which is also free. So you can do some very minor scripting, right. like some very minor Associations, trans- transformation yeah. within the actual mappings. Basically, better than data loader. Better than data loader. I mean, I'm using it right now for a project to. Someone needs to um, have a schedule, a schedule running where they export data from Salesforce on a schedule and put it up on an SFTP site. Nice. And um, I'm using Jitterbit, and I'm I'm going to have them use the cloud one so that they don't have to run it run it on, in their data center. So they'll just be able to deploy to their. Are they using a free version or a paid version? Free version. Oh, so just being nice. able to SFTP using a, a query uh, to pull data out of Salesforce and throw it onto a SFTP server. Listen, they're certainly getting closer and closer to taking away from, you know, uh, we all know Informatica has one of these, data, yeah. Data.io has one. Right. Um, so, and we know that Salesforce is building a new wizard, or it's actually in pilot, pilot now, Winter 14 pilot. Yeah, it is. Beta. Um, it's in the notes. It's in the release notes. Okay. Um, T- talking about their new import wizard. Um, I know it's in, I've actually seen the things in, in a sandbox. Um, so it's definitely, this is something that used to be very difficult. It's getting easier and easier and they're getting better at it. And they're getting freer. And they're getting freer, which is good. It'll be, it'll be interesting if it makes a play towards the larger, to the big boys. To well, the... Jitterbit has their, their integration suite. Right. That but is I'm saying, like... is it going to pull those down or is it going to make companies like us try out these jitterbit ones get so comfortable with it that then to move from the jitterbit to move to the jitterbit to the jitterbit sort of professional will seem so seamless that we'll just be like yes we everybody should do that versus or is it just always going to be considered sort of a second class to the big players who sort of do this for the billions of billions of transactions and certainly have different user interfaces so i don't know it's interesting i'm really i'm fascinated by jitterbit because they've kind of come on the scene and they've made a splash and they're known pretty well now, and they're getting known more they and more. They are, so, and I'm cool. sure they'll be there at Dreamforce presenting or So, whatever. cool. Jitterbit. Mine yeah. is cool, and you're going to love this. Have you looked at it yet? Nope. No, nope. you haven't looked Not at it. All. all right. So what is my number one complaint about your number one conferencing software? Go to meeting. Yes. That it can't 
um, only share specific applications when you're using it on a Macintosh. Right. And Mac, Mac, how about that? Macintosh. Macintosh. When you're using it on a Mac, you have to share your entire screen, one screen or the other screen or whatever. You can't just share an app. Whereas WebEx, you can share an app or go to a meeting on a PC, you can share an app. Right. And the pro- the problem with that is you usually have stuff on your desktop or stuff around right. or things are popping in or out. Or an IM or So whatever. I was actually talking to the people at Citrix. Yeah. And we were actually using another piece of software. And I was bitterly complaining about this and saying, I'm keeping WebEx just because of this feature. And what really bugs me is that they have it. It's not like the feature doesn't yeah. exist. It's on the PC. And, and, it's and WebEx like, can do it on right. Mac. So, so it's, it's not like it can't be doable. done. It's just like you're being lazy. So they're being lazy about it. So she shoots me back and says, well, here's a – little side solution yeah it's on the mac it's a it's in the app store it's called backdrop Mm. and what it does is it just creates a fake backdrop Mm. to your color or whatever of choice Mm -hmm. while you're on a go-to meeting so you just start it up and it creates it basically blocks out everything on your desktop and makes everything else go away so you only see the thing you're focusing on so when you're doing a go-to meeting with the one screen it then you can share it and everything else is gone so your desktop is gone your the icons are gone. Everything disappears. It's this free little can app. Can you open up other things? Yeah, but it just but it do just people makes it look, see the other things. It just makes it look like you're kind of on a stage. So it just takes away the oh, background. But stuff. it doesn't do exactly what you because no, what it doesn't do what I want. Oh, then I'm not going to. But it's this. but it's nice because then when you start it up, it just it makes sure it's like you don't have to clean up your desktop with a bunch of crud sticking on it. it. Right. I Backdrop. get what you're saying. Yeah, free. It's it, not worth it for me. Not worth free. No, because I just always am we'll using a monitors. second monitor. Right. I'm always in two monitor modes. Well, so. whenever you're not, if you're on the laptop, never. on the home. Never. You never. You're never just on your laptop. No, I'm always, when I'm working and on a go-to meeting, I'm on two monitors. So like, if you travel, you're on two monitors. You literally no. bring another monitor with you. 27-inch no. monitor, you just took it on your arm and go with it. No. Okay. So I was traveling. No. <laughs> okay. Anyway, it's called Backdrop. It's on the. It's on iTunes. Uh, it's from a company called Apps from Outer Space, which I love. That's kind of what a, a cool great name. name. Um, and it's free. It's zero dollars. That's a really cool name. Um, I will say one other little thing to go to. I'm going to ping them one more time for being Man, doofuses. Just zinging them. Well, even you agree with this one. So one of the features of GoTo that was so nice was oh, you yeah. used to have the ability to to have a conference or a, a meeting set up that was sort of persistent day to day every day and then you could You can still have a recurring meeting. Yes. It's and it was recurring open. Meeting. It was open meaning you could you could use it as a conference line. You could give out the conference number and the dial in and it was persistent and recurring forever. And what was nice about the feature was you never had to start the meeting. You could just dial into it. So right. you could use it like a conference line without having without everybody could have their own conference line. It worked great. They changed that feature in August. They turned it off, and now you cannot have an open go-to meeting. You have to actually start the meeting, which is not a huge deal, but it means you actually have to do something, and you have to be near a computer, and you have to actually either on your phone or whatever you have to start the go-to meeting. It's their way of saying, you know, so it's protected a little bit. Anyway, I don't like it when I don't like when people take away features that people use a lot and and say, hey, oh, and here's a pay product you can use. So good on backdrop. Bad on go-to meeting. Um, that's all I have to say. All right. We'll be back next week with another episode. Next week, again, big episode, top 10 app exchange parts. We'll have to schedule a lot of time to do that. Um, but in the meantime, you can follow us on Twitter at Just Edelstein, at Jason M. Atwood, and at ArcaSync. We're at Facebook.com slash ArcaSync. We're in the Dreamforce portal. So there's a Dreamforce portal group, and there's a success community group. I do not know why there are two portals for these anymore. Uh, we're in LinkedIn or on Google Plus. Subscribe and review us on iTunes, if you will. That would be nice. We appreciate it. And until next week, we'll be back with another episode of all of our witty banter. I'm Jake and Justin saying, enjoy those cloudy days. Thank you.